Guys, I have finally found an AI email inbox that actually works. And I'm not exaggerating here when I say that this is a complete game changer. Because if you're anything like me, you get flooded with so many emails every single day. Now, I've tried other AI tools in the past, but they all required so much babysitting or they just took so long to do anything or they just really weren't all that useful. But I finally found one that actually works. So this is what I found, it's called Philomail. So this is an AI native email client built for Gmail. And I've been using this for a couple of weeks now and I finally feel like I am actually on top of my emails. So when they reach out to me about sponsoring this video, I was more than happy to do that. If you wanna try this out for yourself and follow along with me, make sure to click the link in the description down below. With that link, you're going to get a 90 day plus membership, which will give you free access to all the features and priority access to new features in the future. All right, so this is my inbox with Philo. And the way this works is this actually links up with your Gmail account. So everything is still in Gmail, but this allows you to use AI to help you manage that inbox. Now today I'll be showing you the desktop version, which is available for both Mac and Windows, but there's also a mobile app as well. So you can use this wherever you want. So one of the coolest features about this is that when you come to your inbox, like this one right here, you'll first notice that they organize all your messages by different categories. So we have the important ones here. We have updates. These are a lot of newsletters I've subscribed to. We have promotions, or you can see everything in one place. And what you'll notice is that they don't use subject lines. Instead, what you'll see right here is who it's from and next to it, an AI summary, a very short summary about what the email is about. Then if you open up any of these emails, so let's go ahead and take a look at this one, you'll also see a much more detailed summary at the top. So for instance, this one is a flight I have coming up and this gives me the details with the flight confirmation number, the outbound flight, the departure time, all that information right here at the top. So I don't actually have to read the entire email. In addition to that, if there are any attachments on the email. So let's take a look at this one right here. There's an attachment here. So at the top will be a summary of the actual email. And right here is a summary of the attachment as well. So I don't even need to open it to know what it's about. All right, so the next feature I wanna show you is probably I think one of the most practical and useful ones, and that's their automatic to-do list creation. So if I click over here on the left where it says to-do list, what this actually does is anytime it gets an email and it notices in there an action item that you actually have to do, it will create a to-do list item for you. So for instance, right here, it says find passport and buy new luggage. So if I go ahead and click on that, I can actually see the email that created that to-do list item. In this case, I actually just sent an email to myself because I was like, oh my gosh, I have that trip coming up. I need to find my passport and I need to buy new luggage. So all I did was email myself so that it actually created a to-do list item. We can see more important stuff in here, like that contract we just looked at, that was an attachment. It says right here, I have to review that contract and actually provide input or sign it. And again, clicking on it will bring up the exact email that generated that to-do list item. And this for me is so huge because in the past, an email inbox was just like a whole dump of different items that I didn't really know the priority of them. I didn't know if any of these actually resulted in me having to do something and actually take action on them. But now, thanks to Philo, I actually have a really clean looking to-do list that outlines for me all the important things that I need to get done in relationship to my inbox. You'll also notice that while you're in the inbox, if you open up any email, like the one about finding my passport and buying the new luggage, you'll notice that at the top of it, you actually see the to-do list item. So you can check it off either here or on your to-do list. It does the exact same thing. You'll see it's no longer here. So that way they're linked up. It helps keep you super, super organized. I absolutely love this feature. Now, of course, once you're ready to write an email or reply to one, Philo can help with that as well. So let me go ahead and open up this one from a student. And the student is asking me specifically about whether they're allowed to list Vero items on eBay. So I help a lot of people start eBay stores. This is a common question that I get a lot. So right here, we have these suggested responses. And you'll notice that when you click on these, it will actually generate a really nice looking response for you. So I'm gonna click on this one that says, I can definitely help. And now I got a very detailed explanation about what Vero items are. 
and a very accurate suggestion, which is you should avoid listing Vero items. And I didn't give it any of this information. This information is all correct, but I didn't tell it to put all this in here. It was able to do research. It knew exactly what Vero items are and that they're not good to list. And so it provided that as a response. But let's say instead, I wasn't quite sure what the person was asking me. So I could click right here instead where it says, what are your specific questions? And it again provides a nice description of what Vero is, but puts down here, do you have any specific items or situations in mind you'd like help with? Both of them great responses and both of them would be perfect to send as a reply. But let's say I just thought this was a little bit too long. Well, down here, I could just click where it says shorter and then I'll still get a nice response, just a shorter one. I could also make it longer. I could also just have it regenerate the response. Or if I wrote out the response myself, I could click check grammar and have it clean it up for me. Now, before I click send, notice that up here, I still have this outstanding to-do list item. It still says I have to respond to this email. But notice what happens when I click on send. If we come back to the to-do list, you'll notice that this item has now automatically been updated. It's been crossed out and it now says we are awaiting reply from the student. And again, all of that is just done for you automatically. Now, before we move on and I show you the coolest feature inside of Philo, just do me a quick favor, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and lets me know that you want more videos just like this one. All right, so the next thing I wanna show you is the AI Assistant feature because this is where you can start doing some really powerful stuff. So if we come over here to the inbox and click on the top right here where it says Philo AI, we now have this chat box on the right and I'm going to tell it, delete all newsletter emails from the past month. All right, so right here, it will then give you a list of all the emails that fit that criteria. So there's seven of them here, and it wants me to confirm if it should move all of them to the trash. So I'm gonna tell it yes, and then you'll notice my email inbox just shrunk by a lot. So you notice that everything Philo does for you, it requires some human input to make sure that it is behaving exactly the way that you want. Personally, I don't want an AI to have full control over my inbox without any input from me. So that's why I like Philo because it always has these safety steps built in to make sure it is working the way that I want. I feel like I'm just scraping the surface of what this personal assistant can do. You can have it organize your schedule for you for the next couple of days, summarize your writing style, show emails awaiting your reply. Here I'm gonna ask it to create an outline of my upcoming travel plans. So if I had multiple emails, like maybe one from my airline, one from the hotel that I'm staying in, and one from the car rental place, it would be able to organize all of those in the chat for me. And finally, what I really love about Philo is that it's just really good at filtering your inbox to keep it very manageable. So that way you only see the stuff that you actually wanna see. So of course, like I showed you before, we have these tabs up at the top, important updates and promotions, but we also have smart labels as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new smart label called student questions. And for the prompt, I'll put in questions from students who have taken my course and click on create. And now it will automatically apply that label to any emails that fit that criteria. And you can see it already did that. We have two emails from two of my students and that label was automatically applied to both of them. And the more you use these, the more powerful this is gonna get. This is a lot different than something similar that's like on Gmail, where Gmail, you can only do these labels based on certain criteria like who it's from, or who it's to, or very specific language in the message or in the subject line. But this actually uses AI for the filtering. So it's a lot smarter and a lot better at putting the right labels on the right emails. So there you have it. That's exactly how Philomail works and why I think it's the first AI email inbox that actually lives up to the hype. If you wanna try it out for yourself, make sure to click that first link down below to get started completely for free. And if you enjoyed this video, I think you're gonna love this one right here that I made recently about seven free AI tools that are absolutely game-changing. You can click right here to watch it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.